Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 16, Lesson 3. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can write the correct number of zeros in the product of two decimal numbers. The learning objective is to multiply decimals with zeros in the product. And the prior learning is that students multiplied a whole number of up to four digits by a one-digit whole number. All right, so moving into lesson, we're on page 409. We have a step it out number one. It says, Jamal and his friends arrive at the train station. The map shows distances uh, to various attractions from the station. His guidebook recommends a sandwich shop 0.2 of the way from the train station to the zoo. How far is the sandwich shop from the train station? So for A, it says to solve the problem, find the product 0.2 times 0.3. What is the related whole number product? So go ahead and it gives us the numbers that we're multiplying. If it didn't, we would know that we needed the 0.2 and then we're looking from the train station to the zoo. So we're looking for this distance here, which means we would take that 0.3. That's how they got the 0.2 and the 0.3 that they're multiplying. Now it's asking us to find the product or the answer of the multiplication problem of 0.2 and 0.3. But first it says, what is the related whole number product? When it's asking you that, it's just saying, look at the actual numbers, ignore all the zeros, ignore all the decimal, decimals. What is two times three? Two times three is six. So the related whole number product is just going to be that two times three, which equals six. So then B, it says how many decimal place values are needed in the decimal product. So this is asking how many numbers are behind a decimal. Just like I've been saying in the last couple of lessons, we'll have one number two behind the first decimal and then a three behind the second decimal, which means that I need two um, places behind my decimal in the answer. So for C, it says there's only one digit in the whole number product, six. There's only one digit there. It says write zeros as needed to the left of that whole number product. So we're going to be putting in some zeros to the left of our six. So that there are enough digits to place the decimal point correctly. So we said we needed two digits behind a decimal point, but we only have the number six. So we need to add in some zeros to make sure that the six is at the end, but still two places away from that decimal point. So what is the decimal product? So if we had our decimal place right here, and we know that we needed two numbers to be behind because we know that there's two numbers behind our decimal point there, and we know that two times three is six, which means our six is gonna land here, all it's saying is place in some zeros now to make sure that the number is correct. So we're going to place in a zero here, which is totally fine. If you wanted to, you could also place a zero here in front. So it would read 0 0.06. That would be the product or the answer to the problem 0 0.2 times 0 0.3. So how far is the sandwich shop from the train station? Well, it is going to be 0 0.06 and our units was in miles. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page. We're on page 410. So number two says the animals at the zoo are exhibited in rectangular shaped spaces. <clears throat> what is the area of the giraffe space and what is the area of the zebra space? So we are looking at the zebra space here and then the giraffe space here. And we see that we have 0 0.04, 0 0.07, and then both lengths are going to be that 0 0.2. All right, so for A, it says to find the area of the giraffe space, multiply 0 0.2, which we found on top, and the 0 0.7, which we found on the left. So how many decimal places are in each factor? So it's asking how many numbers are behind the decimal in each number. So in 0 0.2, how many numbers are behind the decimal? And then in 0 0.07, how many numbers are behind the decimal? For B, how many decimal place values are in the product 0 0.2 times 0 0.07? So go ahead and add those numbers. So what you found for both factors in A, add them together. How many total would there be in your answer for B? And then how many digits are in the whole num number product 2 times 7? So you're going to find that answer and tell me how many digits are in there. 
And then for D, how many zeros do you need to write to the left of the whole number product two times seven to place the decimal point in the product 0 0.2 times 0 0.07? That's a lot of words. It's just saying how many zeros do you need to make sure that the answer is true? So you're going to find two times seven, and then you're going to have to put some zeros in there to make sure that the decimal place is in the right order. All right, and then E, what's your final answer? And what's the area of the draft space? Then you're going to repeat it for the zebra space. So for F, find the area of the zebra space and multiply that 0 0.2 times the 0 0.04. How many decimal places are in both? For G, how many zeros are you going to need to write to the left of the answer that you found of the whole numbers? And then H, what is your final answer? All right, go ahead and try this page on your own and then come back and we will solve these together. So go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great, let's go ahead and solve these. So for A, I'm looking for how many decimal places are, I'm sorry, how many places are behind the decimal point. So in 0 0.2, I just have one. And then in 0 0.07, I have 0 0.07. So there's two decimal places there. So then how many decimal places are in the product? If I have one and then I have two in the other one, that means I'm going to have a total of three in my answer. So for C, it says how many digits are in the whole, whole number product two times 14? Well, two times 14 we know is, I'm sorry, two times seven, I'm saying the answer. Two times seven is 14, which we know is just going to be two digits. So for D, how many zeros do you need to write to the left of the whole number product two times seven to place the decimal point in the product 0 0.2 and 0 0.07? So I know my answer is going to be 14, but I know that if I have a decimal place here, I need one, two, three places away from my decimal point, which means I'm going to need to put a zero in front of the 14 and you can put a zero in front of the decimal point if you would like. So what is the area of the giraffe space? It's going to be point zero 14. Our units here is kilometers. And because we are doing area, that kilometers is going to be squared. I wanted to see how many of you remember that from prior knowledge, that area does need to be squared, just like volume needs to be cubed. All right. So now we're going to do the exact same steps, but for the zebra space. So find the area of the zebra space, multiply 0 0.2 and 0 0.04. So how many decimal place values are there in the product 0 0.2 times 0 0.04? Well, I have one here and then I have two here, which means I'm going to have a total of three decimal places that I'm dealing with. For G, it says, how many zeros do you need to write to the left of the whole number product 2 times 4 to place the decimal point in the product 0 0.2 times 0 0.04. Well, I know that I just said I need a decimal point and then three spaces, but my whole numbers, when I multiply them, two times four is going to be eight, which means it needs to go at the very end, which means I'm going to need two zeros to go in front. And again, you can always put a zero in the front if you want. So what is the area of the zebra space? Well, the zebra space is going to be 0 0.008. Again, we're in kilometers, and because it is area, we are doing kilometers squared. All right, go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems for this lesson, and I'll see you back for module 17.